In any battle, many arms and services joined hands to win the day. The combined operations of the cavalry, artillery and infantry were crucial to defeat the Pakistani army in the Sialkot sector inside Pakistan. Fighting alongside Hudson's horse was another tank regiment, the Pune horse. The regiment was raised in 1817 as the 17th Queen Victoria's own cavalry. Over the centuries, its men fought fierce battles in France, Belgium, China, Syria, Ethiopia, Palestine, Afghanistan, and Iran. The most famous was the Battle of Khushab in 1857 in Iran. This regiment was also assigned the task of capturing Philora, a strategic location to advance deeper into the Sialkot sector. We hardly knew anything about the international border at that time because we had just moved in and been given these orders. But we were so charged to go into battle that we were not concerned about what we are going to face. The regiment thrust forward between Philora and Chavinda. After the capture of Philora, the enemy forces counterattack from the direction of Vazibali with heavy armor. This sudden threat from the enemy demands a swift and immediate response from the Puna horse. Lieutenant Colonel Tarapur is in command. He holds his ground in the face of heavy fire, defying the enemy's charge. Then he gallantly moves towards Javinda with one of his tank squadrons. In the line of relentless tank and artillery fire, he remains calm. Centurion tanks have limitations. In order to navigate, the tank commander must stand outside the cupola, thereby exposing himself to extreme danger in the heat of battle. Inevitably, Colonel Tarapor's tank is hit. It is this during this battle that Colonel Tarapor was wounded. He was severely wounded and he, everybody requested him, including higher commanders, that he must be evacuated, but he refused. He says, if I, my troops are here, my regiment is here, I'll die fighting here. I will not go back. The commander's resolve stands as an inspiration to his men. Fire! On 14th of September 1965, Puna Horse defeats the enemy at Vazirali. Disregarding his injuries, Karnak Tarapur advances further into enemy territory to capture the villages of Jasura and Buttur Dograndi. Karnak Tarapur is wounded. He's deep inside enemy territory, but he holds his position, helping the supporting infantry to attack Chavinda from the rear.
By the fifth day of battle, Puna Horse succeeds in destroying almost 60 enemy tanks while suffering only nine tank casualties despite an inferior tank and long chains of communication. Colonel Tarapur's inspiring leadership has tilted the balance in India's favor. The battles of Philora and Chavinda were over. The centurions had overcome the threat of the patterns on the battlefield. For the men of the regiment, what was left behind were proud memories of a leader who fought for his regiment and his countrymen to his dying breath. Colonel A.B. Tarapur was awarded India's highest award for bravery, the Param Veer Chakra, posthumously, in keeping with the highest traditions of the Indian Army.